All right, I've got the uh, barrel all blackened up, and uh, we're gonna set it down in this channel and uh, tap it in there, and it'll show us where we need to uh, remove wood. Let me grab this camera off of here. All right. Right there is a black spot. I need to take wood off there. There's one. All the way down here is one. And then down here at the very tip, there's one. Usually when you first do this, uh, the first time uh, tapping it down into the stock, you won't get a lot of markings because you've got really high spots. Um, so we'll uh, start taking these down. And I'm going to remove uh, quite a bit of wood. We've got a long ways to go before this thing gets down to where we want it. So, once I get those cut out and a little bit more wood uh, removed, uh, we'll put the barrel back in there and uh, we will uh, mark it again and keep at it. Okay, I've inlet quite a bit and removed a lot of wood here. Um, I've started cutting in the barrel flats back here in the breech area. Um, I'm using uh, the corners of the barrel here are printing in the bottom of the stock here and I'm using the corner of that barrel right there as a guideline. I'll stab those in and uh, it, it starts turning around about right in here about three to four inches up. Um, but it's starting to print up on the sides a little bit, uh, a little bit in the bottom there. But when it starts print, printing on the sides here, um, you really need to be careful, especially on the muzzle end down here. You can start to get your barrel off a little bit from your ramrod grooves. So take close attention to, um, you know, you can... If you need to move the barrel this way or this way a little bit, you can take more off of here. And uh, even though it is printing here, we can move it over just a little bit at this stage. So uh, I'm going to keep in lighting this thing. I'll put the barrel in here real quick so you can see. I've got, oh, roughly uh, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch to go. But it's just starting to, the sides are starting to come down into it. On the very tip of the muzzle here, I've got a line drawn to where I need to inlet to the depth. And that's just a little bit over an eighth of an inch. Uh, once we get that down there and the breech flush down here, we'll... Uh, be pretty close but there's some more here in the uh, center of the barrel that we'll need to uh, remove that web of wood in between the barrel and the ramrod channel I like to make it want the same thickness same as same uh, here as at the muzzle that makes the gun a lot narrower in this area makes the gun a lot smaller looking so we'll keep in lighting and uh, we'll get back to you. I did decide to 
go ahead and uh, cut the profile out on this uh, diesel here. Uh, it was getting awful heavy, so uh, cut it out on the bandsaw. Uh, you can see there's a lot of chips here all over the floor. That's all from the barrel channel. Uh, a lot of work, and a lot of work still to get to be done. All right, it's a new day in the shop, and uh, yesterday I removed quite a bit of wood. Um, back here in the breach area, I've got maybe an eighth of an inch to go. And the muzzle, it's down pretty close to what uh, we want. Um, I'm going to remove quite a bit more wood, just kind of rough it out. I'm not really worried about how smooth the surface is yet. Once I get the breech down fairly close, about 1 32nd from the top here, I'll start to really make it pattern and print pretty well. About that far up the barrel, the rest, I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to remove some more wood and get this breech area down and, uh, and we'll do some measuring. Um, what I like to do to get the, uh, to kind of rough it out is I, I take a small carving chisel, round gouge, like that, to, uh, cut a groove, say I need to go down an eighth of an inch, I'll cut it, cut a groove all the way down the barrel channel, about a sixteenth of an inch deep, and then come in with my bigger gouge and uh, smooth it all out. Now since I cut that groove in the bottom, um, it's only printing up here on the sides. Um, so we'll take my uh, larger gouge and cut those back a little bit. And that'll make the barrel fall in a little bit deeper. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going by the top of this. Uh, you know, most people would think that this top edge should be in the center of the barrel. And that's not what I'm going by. I'm going by the bottom of the barrel channel in relation to the ramrod hole and the ramrod group up here. I'm, more, I'm concentrating on that thickness, not the top of this and not the top of this. So once we get, once I get it down flush with this, I'll measure that. And then I'll take the barrel down even farther to get uh, my thickness of web in between the ramrod channel and the bottom of the barrel channel. Um, then we'll, I'll come back and cut the top of this down to the center of the barrel or a little bit below. And then the top of this will go down to the top of the barrel. I've got this thing down really close to the top here. It's about one thirty second above the top of the stock here. Um, we're very close to having that finished. Um, what I'll do next is uh, I'll take the barrel out and back here in the breech area, like I've been saying, it'll will make it uh, print really well. Um, that way when we install our lock on this side, we won't have any nasty gaps um, in between the uh, lock bolster and the barrel. Um, it, if you have some gaps in there and it doesn't print well, it's not a big deal. Um, it'll just look kind of bad when you pull the lock out, but uh, it makes it look 
a lot better, like better craftsmanship when you take the lock out. So we'll take this barrel out and I'll start using um, scrapers and just uh, taking off just a little tiny bit of wood to make this thing print really well back in the breech area.